What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video I am covering some of the cryptos, platforms and then also Bitcoin. So we'll go over Mara, especially with Mara. There is there a move developing back to the upside? So we'll talk about all of that here and then I'll take you over MSTR and which is the MicroStrategy Riot and Coinbase and then we'll take a look at Bitcoin as well. So I'll, you know, talk you through my you know what I'm seeing the price action how I'm reading across these different you know indices well instruments and what type of plays if any that could be taken so let's start off with Mara here oh guys I also want to let you know none of this is any financial advice only for education purposes okay you are solely responsible for your decisions and outcomes okay so Mara what we are seeing lately is we are curving back to the upside which is a price reaction and have gotten above back again of 200 days moving average this is what we are this is a zone of previous consolidation and that's why it's important that it's reacting at a level now that something is happening here so let me actually mark this out for you guys why this area is important to focus upon right now so let's mark it blue it's important to focus on because this is where we have had previous pivots of double bottom also supports at these trend lines and also this previous uh, bottom and the support now well sorry the demand zone and a breakout right and then here we are confirming a breakout above 200 days moving average not only that if I take you to my swing bot as well um, my swing bot has just gave a buy on this after a quite a long time it you know the thing was falling for quite some time right so the swing bot has also opened up a position right now on this. So we'll see how things goes. But well, when I say how things goes, let's talk through the details here that uh, what, what I'm seeing here with, with it. So, all right, um, we, we have to take this as right now for now a start of a move potentially. OK, it's not a full confirmation that we are bullish. Why? Because our previous pivot is right over here guys right around at $17.82 that we lost so technically this is just a rebound the reason I'm saying this could be a start of a move back to the upside because this this upside or this curving that is happening back to the upside it's not at any unusual level it's at a important level also because of the 200 days moving average and also, as I showed you, these important demand zones from the past. So it's not happening right in the middle of somewhere. And especially as 200 days moving average is happening around that. That's why it's important. Now, this can continue at least easily, in my opinion, to $17.82. If we can break out of it, then yes, $19.90 at least. And then at least we can maybe test 50 days moving average. Right now, I would say the first target to the upside would be $17.82 and 20 days moving average. The thing is that, yes, this rebound is continuing and there can be some a day or two of upside that may come. But if you ask me that it's fully confirmed bullish, then I would say no. That would be if we can break out above 20 days moving average and also above the level of $17.82. So accordingly, in my opinion, this trade potentially could be taken with a stop loss below 200 days moving average somewhere. But just my opinion, this is how I would trade it, right? I mean, my swing bot has already given the position, but uh, but yeah, so this is the level to watch, $70.82. This is like the initiation of a move. You can take it as a rebound as well, but then above $70.82, it will start to look more bullish. So accordingly, size in, size out, or build the position and stop loss, whatever you want to do. But this is you know how I would take this thing. So this is how I'm reading Mara. Let's take a look at hourly interval as well. And lately, we have started to form some higher highs as well. You can also, you know, wait for a confirmation of 200 hours moving average. But since swing bot has given the long already, I would, you know, uh, not worry too. Well, when, well, look, have a stop loss is needed. But the thing is that since we are very close to the zone of consolidation, so our stop loss could be very minimal and a potential long play could be taken. But again, stop loss is needed because we are still technically the downtrend and it's just the initiation has, has started off position in my opinion but we want to see a break above 70 dollars 80 to for a full break of structure and also 20 days moving average so but yeah this could be a start okay so 
All right, guys, I spent enough time on this, but hopefully you got the understanding of Mara here. All right, micro strategy. So this thing has formed, this is what I have been saying that on this one, that this is a head and shoulder. And we will, we are continuing lower guys. Right now, am I seeing any upside? No, I'm not seeing upside. The trade is very simple on the, well, it's, it, it, it can continue lower. If it breaks above 50 days moving average, then you can expect some rebound may come to 1,436. And if we break above this, then it will become bullish again. And then we can expect maybe it will test double top. But right now, I think it has more room to continue to fall. And I think this may fall all the way down to $807, just my opinion. It all comes down to as long as it's not breaking above this 50 days moving average, this is a continuation down to $803 in my opinion. Riot. Riot, very similar to Mara, but it's not that strong. But I expect this rebound on Riot can come all the way to this green box up here. That is the level of $10.31. It's not much of a move, but some move can come at least to this rebound. But this will technically be a bearish thing on this. If it can get above this $10 range, then it confirms bullishness again, and then you can expect some upside continuation on this. Otherwise, no. But yes, this rebound is coming and this may potentially go a little bit higher, at least in this rebound. It's, um, and yeah, uh, there is also a possible another possibility that if it fails, comes down. And this is where you can either build your position with the stop loss somewhere below $7.80. And that is like if it comes down lower forms double bottom. But I expect that would happen around 20 days moving average. It will re may reject if it rejects and then forms a higher, either a higher high on the pivot or double bottom accordingly this could be if you want to trade this could be the position building place and then stop loss below that so yes there might be there is a price action change happening well at least some uh, beginning is happening and then we will see if it can hold itself up here but remember the confirmed mission confirmed bullishness on this is only about ten dollars range ten dollars and fifty cents or so just give or take this green box at least so Coinbase, let's take a look at that. So Coinbase, I guess, guys, will just continue lower, at least to the level of 187 this coming week, and also maybe 200 days moving average. It is looking full on bearish. We have this head and shoulder pattern on this here. And you can you can see I have taken short plays on this here. You can see my short play, you know, uh, that was successful. Um, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I think this one ran into stop loss. I, I this been a while. I don't remember this one. I or maybe I took some out and rest and this is in the stop loss. Check out my previous videos. Uh, I, I really don't remember this, you know, um, this particular one because I haven't been trading Coinbase after this particular trade. And yeah, this is I, either I have to check my records or in, on my broker what happened with this position and or just check out my previous videos. That's the best thing to do. All right. Oh, well, yeah. So right now I think <clears throat> Sorry guys, yeah, Coinbase will continue lower, in my opinion. That will be um, the 20, sorry, 200 days moving average down here, okay? So yeah, that's that's my opinion. Uh, Bitcoin. Okay, so Bitcoin is an interesting thing. Um, uh, this thing has retested multiple times to $73,000, but, and then it's trying to find the bottom here at $61,000, right? Okay, so what do I think? Oh, I think, well, at this point, I will, Bitcoin is only to the upside if it gets above 67,400 or $500, $67,500. But right now, that is a potential of rejection as well and may continue lower. But so the thing is that with Bitcoin, you have to be very precise with the levels. Okay, it's, uh, it's not something that you can just trade out of the blue. Um, but I think that we can, we might receive a rejection at $67,500. Let me mark this actually here. If we continue to go up, this is where we would have rejection. I still think it's going to head lower. Um, yeah, so I think this is just a rebound that is coming on it and this will go lower because the thing, look at this weird structure it has formed here. It's not even a tree, it's sort of triple top, but looks like, look at this, this is the new thing I have ever maybe seen, but, oh yeah, yeah, you can take it as a triple top, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, guys, I, I, I think, oh yeah, I think it will head lower uh, eventually, so this might, this might continue lower, 
So anything below this red line, $67,500 is a continuation of the short play in my opinion. And this is where things get a little bit complicated when you see the strength coming in at one of these areas, right? Because this has been a demand zone here, right? And that's why this is happening. Now, if it weakens up and starts to curl down, yeah, I don't think third time is gonna hold. So let's go to the hourly interval and I might have to adjust something here on my indicator because this is a Bitcoin. So I have to adjust a couple of things here, guys. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get the sense here that, yeah, so there's this one trend line you can follow on this one. And that is, you can, all, well, it's almost about to, yeah, this thing, yeah, guys. So I, it's almost breaking this trend line as well now, right? So um, that's the thing, just a second, guys, I think. So yeah, you can just follow this trend line over here. Uh, right and it's already looking weak at that trend line I'm also seeing pretty much that one resistance line here as well here we go yeah so guys uh, you can see that this is the line of $65,000 here right so I don't think that this thing will go up I think this will exhaust out just my opinion though um, yeah I think well it has already given so many moves but yeah uh, yeah, I think this would be, if it keeps continuing to go up, I think $67,000 and 500 would be the top and then eventually it will fizzle down. Just my opinion though, guys, okay? Cool. Well, guys, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Okay, bye.